And yes, I'm aware it's taking me two minutes to uh, move the pile of stuff. <clears throat> All right. Could you put some traps in front of the stairs and just wait a long time? Um, problematic in that if it's if we do have a gasoline zombie come downstairs and then the trap kills it, it'll just burst into fire and, you know, that would be bad. At least a live gasoline zombie I could maneuver around to prevent the fiery explosion. <clears throat> you can do some things that will help. I mean, you can try blocking the stairs and all that, but they just bang on it and they might destroy the stairs. That's usually the problem. You don't want them to be trapped in this little nook and then have nothing to smash except for the stairs that you're going to use to get out. You don't want fire to go on. There's there's reasons why you might do various things, but um, you could lay spike traps down. If it's an early game and you're having problems like this, you can put a few spike traps down to try to kill them before they get through the, the gauntlet or block things. Or there, There's various things that can be done. just depends on what stage of the game you're in and what, what character has access to. All right, so uh, did I not bring the torch and stuff down with me? Uh, is it back up on the vehicle? I think it's back up on the vehicle. I didn't bring it down with me, meaning we have one CBM vault we haven't accessed. I might be able to hack it, which would mean I wouldn't need the torch, but I would want to make sure... Yeah, we should be able to handle it. Famous last words. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I got more stuff to drag up, too. All right, let's go back up to the north. Am I overweight? I forgot to drop my personal inventory. God dang it, I am overweight. Ah, uh, it's fine. It's fine. It'll all be good. Okay, vault. Get rid of the light. Ooh, computers are... Computers are generating a little bit of light, which is somewhat problematic. All right, so we want to be... When I'm computing, I'm trying to figure out the best place to stand, because if we hack this and we fail, a security bot could come up from the floor, just appear next to me. So you want to be positioned if you have the opportunity in such a way that you can quickly maneuver away from the spot and out of the line of sight because they don't have a, very much night vision. So as long as you can make it a few spaces away from them, you won't get shot. Um, and some positions are better or worse than others, depending. So if I'm here and I look at the positions where the computer, the, the, the sentry bot might appear, if it's above me, I can easily step down and away. If it's below me, I got the same option up that way. I, I think we'll be okay in this diagonal position. We'll go ahead and turn on my Heelys, give me a little bit of movement boost just in case. And we'll get the um, we'll get the gun out. Bypass, yes. Unlock entrance, yes. All right, we succeeded, so it doesn't matter. What valuable goodies do we have? I'm gonna guess finger lighter CBM and crane, either crane, finger lighter, cranial flashlight, or LED tattoo. You're going with the clock? <laughs> clock is another one. Those are probably the most common. Let's let's see what's super valuable. I'm going to kill you if you try to hack this door. Technology is is, is has now become ours. 
Gasoline and metabolic. Actually, that's not too bad. That's, that's better than I feared. I mean, I already have that. And, you know, I'm not likely to ever install this, but we'll take it. That's better than I had feared, though. Usually they're, uh, they're pretty lackluster. Okay, so we're done. Bionic Vault is done. There's a joint torsion ratchet north of me. Same, same process applies that you want to be careful of. I'm just not sure I care enough. We're not likely to get any high power usage CBMs. And I've got a couple of power generation already, so I don't think I'm going to worry about it. It's one of those where it's not really going to do much for me. Now we are done. Oops, that's the shock room. Let's not run through the shock room. Either smoke vent. Now the fun part. Now we got to get out of here with all this stuff. <laughs> That's going to be the problem. It's escaping with stuff. All right. How am I going to do this? So we've got... 96 liters, 240 pounds of stuff. Some of it pretty small. I could carry a lot of it out, like all this loose ammo and magazines. But I think what I'm going to do is leave it here. We're going to go up top, trim down our inventory a bit. We're going to run up top, and we're going to see just how bad it is up there. And uh, we'll try to lead the zombies away or kill them all, and then we'll come back down and grab our stuff. Hmm, I think I might grab some more of the Molotovs and acid bombs to help for clearance, just in case. Come on. Spell it right. We'll take uh, three more of those. Come on. <laughs> All Molotov. All right, that should be plenty. Ah, spitter zombie, shrieker zombie. <laughs> it's going to be bad. It's going to be so bad up there. It could be a matter of go upstairs, be surrounded by zombies, and die. Uh, we'll run downstairs and have them all follow you, then make noise, have even more follow you. We might have to go out via the subway. This would be entertaining if I get, uh, if there's such a horde up there that I have to go out via the subway. That would pop us out right there. Assuming we survived the subway trip. Alright, let's get uh, let's go back to the bow. Take care of our new visitors. Now I've got acid on the stairs. Alright, we got everything in the basement pulped. 
so we don't have to worry about uh, anything standing back up if any of the animators show up. So the situation is, uh, we've been in the lab for a little while underneath this house. We've been making a lot of noise, so we've drawn probably a fair amount of the zombie population from the neighboring area right over top of the house. We're having regular visitors down in the basement. Um, who knows what we got above us? I'm most worried about, like I mentioned before, the proximity of this gas station. And if we've got gasoline zombies up top, things could get bad pretty quick. I got my bike parked just a few spaces to the left side of the house. But we do have another way out just in case. We can go out via the subway to this subway station. I'd have to, you know, clear the subway tunnels, which could be really dangerous. And then the subway station itself, depending, could be pretty bad. We could pop up the first set of stairs to the mid-level and um, it could be pretty bad. So, really rather not. All right. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to just hang out and uh, heal up down here. Not in the basement, but go into the lab. I'm not happy about our leg damage. So one potential thing we could do would be to uh, pop back down and just go to sleep for a while. Or hang out and get some healing done. Then come up. I'm just still worried about the possibility of uh, fire starting. Yeah. Time or hit points. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up the stairs, take a look around, and depending on what I see, I'll make my decision. <laughs> I think I am going to haul this pile of stuff back to the stairs, though. Let's see how many things show up while I haul this pile. How long is it taking me per space? Almost three minutes per space. Yep, that's going to be a problem. That crap. He's already seen me. Um... Right on top of my pile of stuff again. I know it's because of the uh, scent cloud he's following, but it's annoying. Did he not never any clothes with him? Naked zombies? Oh, there's his clothes. And who knows what other crap? Wallet. Keep trying to haul. Nah, screw it. Let's just leave it there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see how much attention we bring. Just trying to peek up the stairs. Can't wait to see this. Uh, not looking too bad. Uh, I'm not liking this. <laughs> hey, gasoline. So much gasoline. But the house is still up. Let's see. Shocker brute. Dissolute. Fast movers. Gas clouds. Sludge trails. Hmm. Wish I could see around the bookcase. Yeah, there's a lot of gasoline splatter all the way down into the street there, down past that shocker route too. So we've got a bunch of uh, bunch of gasoline zombies. 
I'm not sure if those bushes along the north end of the building, any of those are rose or thorny type bushes. These is what I'm talking about. So if gasoline zombies walk over these, they'll take damage, and then when they when they blow up, <laughs> or when they die, they blow up, and that's when the fire starts. Huh. How to go about this? At least my bike is on the sidewalk. I couldn't remember if there was grass in that space or uh, if it was on the sidewalk. We shouldn't lose the bike even if the house catches fire. <sighs> I don't know if I want to walk up out of this scrum. I have to clear quite a bit in order to have enough time to then grab gear, drag it up here, dump it on the bike, and then go back again. The one option, head south, avoid the uh, slime trail. So, like so. I don't have my gas mask on currently. I'm uncomfortable going out past the uh, shocker brute that close. Again, I need my gas mask. Don't know what's over this direction currently. I don't like traveling where I don't know what's in front of me. If I go east, I gotta go out past the dissolute. Which maybe, I mean, it's a hard to know exactly what's gonna happen going adjacent to him for any amount of time. Especially if he gets a grab off. A grab of even a few rounds could get really ugly. Use the Molotov and the child zombie? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I guess the solution to things visiting is just to lay out, uh, just throw out some acid bombs up here and then turn on my light and then walk down the stairs. <laughs> just let them trudge through the acid trying to get to the stairs. Maybe one more acid pool at the bottom of the stairs, you know, just to be sure. You could also hop back downstairs, wait five minutes, come back up, and see if the geometry has changed a bit. There's a, what I think I'm going to do. Let's uh, let's wait up here and see if the geometry changes any. Safe mode on. Wait five minutes. Why not? We'll wait. Uh, we'll wait a while. Haven't been making any noise down here. All right, that looks a little better. Other than the, the predator and the gargoyle that see me. But that gives me room to go east, and I can either go north through the kitchen or break the window and go... Uh, the garage is a little messy with the pupating, spewing sludge over there. All right, let's uh, see if they follow down the stairs. They're not super likely to, but they might. Oop, here we go. Run, I need to get my bow out. Or we just slowly lure all these guys down into the basement for quiet assassination. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not letting me peek up anymore. That, uh, is that because there's somebody on the stairs? You usually get a message about that, but I'm not trying to move up. I'm just trying to peek. Can't go down, and it's just not letting me. Hmm. Nope. Ah! 
<laughs> they broke them. You bastards. How did they manage that? That means, do we have the fire going on now? Uh, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> That's why it's not letting me peek anymore. Ugh. Let's see. I think that also means I'm not going to get any more visitors. <clears throat> but that doesn't solve my problem, of course. But if nothing's going to sneak and show up, let's go ahead and finish moving stuff. What do we got here? Nothing super particularly needed. Um, oops, wrong button. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure how they break stairs in that location. I guess they can smash what base the stair is supposed to be in. I've never actually tried to do that manually. I don't think a fire would have gotten it that quickly. Maybe. I mean, my waiting uh, and my dragging and stuff was passing a bit of time. I can probably get out because the stair here exists just like in our last, not our last, but a previous challenge we had recently where the stairs existing here in the lower area let me get out, but I won't be able to come back down again via this this route uh, without, uh, well, it kind of depends on what's going on upstairs. Uh, what to do, what to do. What a mess. I didn't expect, uh, I thought this was going to be a quick in and out laboratory. Now it's going to take me longer to get to escape than it took me to explore the whole damn thing. Do I go check the subway? If we do that, we've got to clear this section. Hope we don't get any of the really big nasties in that section. And or this section, of course. Um, the tougher part is going to be clearing the mid-level. And then if we manage to get all the way out, I've got to work my way back around to the, to the house. Get the bike, clear the area, and then go back down and grab all the gear out. Because I'm not taking that gear out through the subway. Depending. If we make it clear, I guess I can take it out through the subway. Go get the bike, bring it to the subway. Yeah, I don't want to risk going up these stairs and not being able to immediately come back down. <clears throat> Could be way too dangerous. So I think I'm going to go explore the um, explore the subway and take my chances. See if we get shot to death in the subway. I could also... Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, let's let's look for... Uh, let's grab some parts and make a stepladder real quick. Um, I could just smash all the wood and furniture down here to get the... Uh, stuff I need. That makes noise. Let's pop downstairs. We'll smash this stuff down here instead. Hey, Boopinator. Let's, let's break Boopinator. Actually, let's not break Boopinator. Let's get... Uh, um, what, was, what, was, what was it renamed? <laughs> Plastic Spoon? Plastic Spoon.
And we'll heal up while we craft. Yeah, we're hoping it's not a raging fire up there. That would be pretty bad. Can't climb here, there's a ceiling above your head. Yeah, that's the goofiness. All right, I need to actually take this with me. See, I don't think this helps, actually. I mean, it would get me out if this stair here wasn't existing. The problem's gonna be the stairs above no longer exist. Having the stepladder above doesn't help me because the stepladder's not gonna let me go down. I don't need a route up. I can get up via here. I just most likely won't be able to come down again without crafting uh, stairs. I can't get all the gear out in one trip up, and I don't want to be overburdened when I go up. Yeah, it, there's there's no simple way to deal with this problem. I just likely won't be able to come back down again. Not that there will be a hole above me. There will just be nothing but flat ground. It's just one of the weird weirdnesses of the system. <clears throat> Once they destroy the stairs above, I'd have to actually manufacture stairs, which is going to be tough. Well, yeah. But no, it's not fire. We'd be hearing if it was fire. It's definitely not fire. Something just stepped, st stepped next to the stairs and killed it. Just wailed on it like they have a want to do. That's one of the things I feared. And I, I was fearing for the lower steps. It didn't really enter my brain that the upper steps, because it doesn't have as obvious a little thing. And since it goes down, it just seems weird that they can destroy the top steps. <laughs> so... Yeah, I think uh, I think we're gonna go examine the uh, the subway tunnel. Dangerous as it might be, <clears throat> I think it's a simpler possible solution. So, with that in mind, we've got our bow, we've got our our gun with our ammo, we've got acid, we got fire, we got tools. We're not overweight currently, so and we have the infrared goggles, which will help out. I don't know how many things in the subway might be immune to the infrared effect, vision. Hopefully not too much. Yeah, let's uh, let's go do that. Yep, that's the shock area. All right, wear infrared goggles, reload, yeah, they're fine. Activate, <clears throat> infrared goggies. Oh, that's right, I hadn't cleared it to begin with. We just noped on out of there. Um, well, if these guys are out here, that should mean there's no Migos at least. Let's get the gun out and start uh, start gunning things. Make more noise to attract enemies. Back off and reload. I actually might want to go get some more loose ammo. What have I got? I got 30, 60, 90, 120, 180. Um, that should be fine. Once we clear the subway tunnel, it'll be an easy trip back anyway. Ah, Zapter. Ooh, I for keep forgetting some of these guys can actually shoot the lightning. Uh, let's retreat back this way. Oh crap, I hate these things. I can't hit them from range. Uh, 
we're gonna get zapped. We are totally gonna get zapped. Whew! Whew! So close. <laughs> It's all about proximity. My chance to hit jumped. I was trying to aim, but the prox the, the chance to hit jumped from like 8% to 75% <laughs> because he got close. It's all about proximity and just praying that he doesn't get to both move and attack simultaneously. So we got lucky that uh, he didn't get to move and attack simultaneously. Quench the candle. Um, yeah, there's a lot of light behind me that I was retreating into, and there's the computer and other lights out here. I guess the candle's the only light out here, but uh, whoops. Well, hi there, Night Stalkers. Wow, that's quite the quite the party out here. Um, Now I'm feeling like maybe I don't have enough ammo. Short sledgehammer. That's a nightmare of an idea. <laughs> Night Stalker hitting you with a short sledgehammer. Ouchie. I don't think they actually get to use these kinds of items, but man, would that be hilarious. Bash 35, brutal strike. <laughs> I would love to see a player character get, get hit with something like that by a Night Stalker. That would be awesome. We're missing out on opportunities like that. I'm going to go back and get more ammo. <laughs> it's it's feeling like I, I keep having to adjust my expectations given the... Uh, given the evolution factor and how much of these evolved zombies I keep running into. So let's get a little more. Not like we don't have plenty. We have uh, many belts of ammo. We'll just grab... Yeah, we'll just grab that pile there, though. Am I still sitting on... Whoa, 18. Uh-oh, I lost carbon fiber or two. All right, 116 out of 134. I don't expect to loot much, so I'm okay with that. We've got acid and we've got fire should we need it. Alright, let's take our army mans into the scary place. There's some difference between the ammo types, the specialty types and all that, but not enough in the damage values. They have other functions usually. But I don't generally worry or care about which one I'm using. <laughs> Blunderbuss. Okay, nobody down there in that corner. Just us and the spiders. Activate. Goggles are on. As we go around the corner here, I need to zoom out. So the infrared goggles, if you're not aware, have a visual range of about 60 spaces. So it's huge. So I'm hoping that it will show me anything ahead. Problem's going to be the number of creatures that don't show up on the infrared. Like, apparently, insects. <laughs> Mommy long legs instead of daddy long legs. So, yeah, spiders aren't showing up. The things I fear are unseen hunters, uh, Migo scouts, or myrmidons. The invisible stuff and the stuff that can shoot me. Anything else I you can probably get away from. Yeah, we'll travel like this so I can make sure I can see. Missile spider. I'll give him a little bit of room. Most of the spiders and uh, insects won't mess with you unless you get real close. Oh, there we go. 
That's why I brought the infrared goggles. Problem is, I don't know what it is. So I know something's there. I still have to go that way. <laughs> so I just have a little advance warning. Hopefully it's, uh, you know, chud or something like that. Oh, they see me because I'm all lit up. So they're coming to me. Um, oh, boy. Should be able to tell if it's Amigo just from the movement speed. I don't think that's Amigo given the movement speed. It'd be it'd be trail going a lot faster than that. I wouldn't be equaling my movement, so I don't think it's Amigo. Zombie type, most likely. We'll see if I get shot to death instantly. It's getting close to the range. Here we go. Oh, I can't see it until it gets out into a little further into the light. I'd be getting shot by now if it was a scout. All right, so just a boomer. No problem. All that uh, all that anticipation just for a boomer. I don't know if these insects are going to freak out when I shoot this guy. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that, whatever you were. <laughs> they don't care? They don't care. All right. Didn't know if they were like ants and they would come running at me if I made noise. So regular boomer, amigo would have killed a, a zombie, so that shouldn't be a zomb or a amigo there either. What do we got? Shady zombie, no problem. Uh oh. Yeah, we're getting to the corner. He came around that corner. He was close before I saw him on the heat map. There's the troglobites. <clears throat> We're going to peek this next corner. See if anything up. Oh, yeah. So, infrared goggles. Gotta love them. This is why you use them. Okay. So we fired a gun pretty close to those guys. Are they moving this way? Plus I'm lit up. They're just kind of milling around. So I don't think... Whoa, what? <laughs> oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> we got the thing this is why I don't go into sewers <coughs> well what the hell are those four things on the other side of the thing and what, what damaged it for four bars And why aren't they attacking it actively now? <clears throat> <laughs> the thing. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to shoot it from here. Still not drawing their attention, huh? Is it going to be slugs? I don't know if they would do that kind of damage. I'm going to wait right here for a bit. <clears throat> God! <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks. I'd like to stop waiting now. <laughs> so, sludge crawler, huh? All right. They're all busy. The sludge crawler walked this way. The others followed the sludge crawler. So, I've got an opportunity here to get some pretty easy kills. The sludge crawler is probably fine. Yeah, he's fine. He heals faster than he can do damage. It is got him marked as a uh, hostile, but I don't think he's very fast. All right, ammo. We're at twenty. That should kill the three zombies. I think I'll leave the pupating. We'll kill the two night stalkers. I'm gonna back off and reload, and then we'll 
try to kill the sludge with the pupating. And or I might leave him alone and just walk around. But let's go ahead and get these guys dead. Alright, now that they are gone, get a get a reload going. I could just leave them right there. They're gonna be attached to each other forever. I'd like to get the night nightcrawler bodies pulped. We'll see if we can overcome his regen rate. <laughs> it's doing nothing. <laughs> Are we even hitting it? It says we're hitting it. Does this one not report the damage, or is it just so insane regen rate that uh, we're never going to know? We're going to leave them locked in eternal combat. I don't think they can either one hurt each other. <clears throat> uh oh more guys coming alright we'll let them join the fight see what they are before I make my decision I should get closer to the edge here just in case there's something I really don't want to deal with ah ooh two brutes Wading through the sludge. They'll go to the night crawler also, so they'll be easy kills. Or the sludge crawler, I mean. More night stalkers. I thought they were brutes. Four more. Four night or yeah, four night stalkers in this one little alleyway here. <clears throat> Alright, more to pulp. Step around the corner here. All right, so we can make use of that sludge crawler. Like I said, those two by themselves aren't dangerous, given that they're eternal struggle. We'll uh, just take advantage of that. If there's anything else nasty shows up down the tunnel, we'll pull them back to that point. Nothing showing up on IR. Freshly dead shitty zombie. A lot of, a lot of slime. From the south, you hear smash. Warehouse spider also should ignore me. Alright, so we're coming around the corner. Oh, we actually have a train car. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Two train cars? Really? Those are long. I haven't seen this. Hey there, passenger car. Just a passenger car on its own. I assume that thing's not drivable. Yeah, I've never seen this before. It's cool. If you're in need of some seats <laughs> or some frames. Just checking if there's anything immediately north of us. We got another bend in the tunnel. Whoops, which helps. They're not seeing or moving towards me. A Gracken, that's not a good sign. That is a very bad sign. <clears throat> Gracken are commonly where Migos hang out. Or they come from the same location anyway. Okay, so if we have to fight, I've got, I can pull the enemies that follow me down the stairs and we can fight inside the vehicle, which is helpful. Um, yeah. 
this is going to be interesting. All right. A full reload. I guess we just got to peek the stairs and see just how dense the population is in the middle level. Let's turn off our candle before we do that. That's a good sign. We might be able to get a clearance with the bow. If I can just get up off of this level, we're going to be in much better shape. Go ahead and switch out to our bow. Compound hunting bow. What do we got? Hunter, zombie. No problem so far. My vision is blocked for the front end here, so there could be a lot more over there. But so far, we're looking pretty good. Let's try to get some... Ooh, acid zombie. All right, hunter first. Whoa! Rude. Acid zombie next. <laughs> They're dying in the pool of acid. Which is fine with me. Come to me, zombie. He's too too uh, weak to break the gate. I didn't want to waste a uh, an arrow on him that might break. Check our vision through the rest of the place here. I think he's it. All right, we'll go ahead and take him. Cool. Oops. Bottle of tequila. <clears throat> Anything fun in the uh, utility room? A uh, gas jackhammer, electric jackhammer, and a toolbox. This is the reason I usually come down here, depending on um, the game I'm playing, and the, the goals, and where I'm at, and what I've got. Um, it almost always has a toolbox and uh, the jackhammers. So those are pretty high on my list of things to look for. Funnel, locking pliers, and sandpaper. Well, that would have been a disappointment. <laughs> that, that, that's not great. But, you know, the jackhammer is pretty high on the list of useful tools. All right. Anything? Uh, usually the upper level isn't too bad. Yeah, the upper level's fine. So, we're going to be out on the street. Now I've got to make my way back to the house. And my bike. Once I've got to the, get to the bike, then we've got options. Then I can maneuver around and we can do stuff to try to rescue my gear. Now the question is, do I just go back down into the subway, now that we know that route is clearish, and do I just haul that stuff out? I could probably do it in just a couple of trips, and I might. I'm a little worried about doing the auto move with the spiders. I don't know. If, I think the auto move will move me close to them and might initiate fights. I guess I could kill them. Nah, let's let's get to the bike first. I gotta I gotta make the trip no matter what. So let's get to the bike and then we can make a decision from there depending on what we see in the environment around the house. So we get to make a foot trip without access to my super vehicle <laughs> through a high evolution mega city. Good thing we've got goggles. I'm tempted to go up this way, actually, because I've semi-cleared this area right up here. So it's just a couple of blocks up the street. We can get to a semi-clear area, and then it's just straight across. I think I'd rather do that than go straight this way. So in this kind of situation, I want to stay in the middle of the street if I can to maximize my vision ranges. As soon as I start going in between buildings and I've got doors and corners, that's where they get you, kid. Doors and corners, so.
Yeah, let's, uh, with my vision, my night vision range, and especially the bonus of the infrared goggles giving me long range warning. Yeah, we're gonna take that route. We'll go this way. Nice open area. Cut back over right up the middle of the street. Guess I could look for a vehicle. Get another vehicle added to the list. Gasoline, no battery, faulty engine, security system. Yeah, that's not a good one. Somebody has shown up in my cleaned area. Is this a squirrel? It's always funny when you get all paranoid about a heat signature and it's a squirrel. No pupating. Uh, yeah, we'll leave him. I got I got more important things to deal with. Okay, next stop. Whoops, I'm north of where I need to be. So I'm gonna go this way. All right, coming up on our house. Let's see what the uh, what the IR shows me here. <laughs> it's getting a little crowded over there, and we got a gasoline zombie in the forest. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Gasoline zombies blowing themselves up, stepping into rose bushes and other thorny shrubbery. That one probably wouldn't do much, given where he's at. But I'm worried there's a bunch of those right around the house. All right, let's get a little closer. What do we got? Why can I not see what you are? That happens when... Oh, what, what, what is the... Oh, God, I can't remember when that happens. That happens when... <laughs> uh, they are shady, and I don't have a light source. Yeah, that's what's going on. I can see their heat signature, but I can't tell what they are specifically. So that's either a shady or a night stalker. One of those types. And there's a bunch of zombies piled up on the garage of the house I'm trying to get to. So he sees me. It's most likely just a shady zombie, but unless I turn a light on, I'll never know. Let's actually lead him up into this place. I'll be able to turn a light on in here and verify what he is. I don't want to let him next to me, and I don't want to flip a light on where 50 things can see me. So, eh, it's not really a good place. The glass frontage here. All right, I'll let him get next to me. If he super punches me, if it's a Night Stalker and he super punches me, we won't hit a wall or anything. What are you? Shady zombie. All right, so he's no big deal. Multiple gasoline zombies down there. I need to kill those things. I can't let those things just wander around closer and closer to the stadium. I'm going to have to go on a gasoline zombie spree. Um, so I can't kill him with the bow, not effectively. I need to get into melee, or I just need to ignore him. We'll just ignore him. Either zombie. Whoa, this is what I mean by corners. Exactly what I meant. <laughs> Good example. Thank you, game, for demonstrating what I talked about. Doors and corners. Step around a corner, and all of a sudden, you got something you really don't want to deal with real close to you. That's why I didn't take the uh, the other route. Uh, I can get past his vision range. He'll slow down when he loses track of me otherwise. Now we can... Hit him with some of those. Get rid of him. I really don't... If I have to retreat, I really don't want zombies in my retreat path. But... Alright. Yeah! All right, here's what I feared. Right there. That one's already taken some damage. We got, got damn gasoline zombies all over the place. And as soon as I kill them, they explode. So they're not ones I can just... just pop and move on, not in proximity to the house. That kind of thing I need to lure away and then kill somewhere else where they won't uh, actively cause any problems to the building I'm trying to get into. Bike I'm trying to get it to right there. That's, that's our bike. So I need to get to the bike without that kind of interference. I need to get my stamina back. 
surprised nothing's got my scent cloud following me yet. Skeletal zombie, regen zombie. And I think I'm going to back off out to the street, work my way around via the street. See how bad things are up here. See if I can... Get to where I can get to the bike from the other route. Jeez, so many stupid gasoline zombies. This is where they all came from, the gas station here. They've gravitated south because of all the noise. Whoops, how did I not see that guy coming up on me? What the hell? Alright, well they're going to screech and draw attention to me, or to that location. Uh, second one on the way. Ah, stuff, look at the stuff to the north. All racing south to where that guy made noise. The south stuff's moving north as well, which is kind of good, but now I've got to get out of this. I got... Zombies collapsing into this location from the different directions. Stamina becomes a really big issue here. Let's see. I kind of want to go back out to the west and then down. I'm just trying to find a route to my bike that I'll survive. I was hopeful I could come around this way and then find a, a way south and then cut across back to it. I might have to go wide west again and uh, try and approach from this direction. Now that some of these zombies here have been pulled to the north, I just got to break contact. So we got that little zombie there. I could probably kill pretty quickly and then move through him. Hmm. Well, damn, dude. Took care of that fence pretty quick. I've also got dazed effect going on. Oh, I have really got to be careful. I totally forgot I've got the Heelys rolling. <laughs> uh, all right. Now that I've reminded myself, if I step off pavement, I got to make sure I'm aware of that. be able to make that trip through there yeah look at that cluster that there, there's a there's a molotov opportunity or an acid bomb opportunity oh i am so tempted and especially once the gasoline zombie goes off it'll spread fire but the noise will draw more and more up here oh we got to try this Oh, not a Necro Boomer! No! Why did it have to be a Necro Boomer right there? <laughs> Damn it. Do I try this? I gotta try this. We gotta see what happens. Necro Boomer is gonna raise everything that I, I try to blow up here. I'm not sure how far I can actually throw this. Throw Acid Bomb. That's pretty good. Now, if that if the if the gasoline zombie will just blow up, it'll draw a whole bunch of guys into that area. Throw one more, or just wait and see. I'm not sure. I don't think the gas puddles actually interact in any way. I could be wrong. I never actually paid attention to it or tested it or anything, but I don't think they're interactable. <clears throat> It'd be kind of funny if we had a massive conflagration as all the gas puddles lit up all the way down to that house. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, I think what I'll do is we'll let that play out. I'm going to switch back to the, the bow. I'm going to kill this necro below me. Please don't move out of the acid before you explode. 